In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create user parameters. These are values that you can use to change your model and update it completely through your design history. To do this, go to Modify and then select Change Parameters. To start, there are no parameters, so click the plus button. When we get a new parameter, we can choose to enter a name, we can change the units, and we can give a little bit of a comment about what this unit is. For example, I can make a name called width, and then I can choose my units. Most of the units we'll use are lengths. So I'll leave it as millimeters, and I can have my width be 180 millimeters, and I can say width of object. If I click OK, now you see these numbers here and my comments. Let's make another parameter. Click the plus button, then we'll say height. And then we'll make this height perhaps 200. Then we'll enter a comment, height of object. Select OK. We'll make one more user parameter. We'll call this ply. This could be the plexiglass or the plywood that you're using. And then for the parameter, we'll say three and we'll say thickness of plywood. You can make as many user parameters as you want, and also you can use equations to make user parameters. For example, you could make whole space, and the expression could be height divided by five. Then if we change height to 225, Notice that whole space automatically updates. You could also make width be height times 0.75. This way, it's 75% of the height. When we change height to say 213, all the math updates automatically. This is a great way to use user parameters to update your model. Let's see how we can use this when we're working in Fusion. So if we create a sketch on the ground plane, then we make a center point rectangle, click on the origin, then we can type height, enter, tab, width, and it automatically makes a rectangle at those dimensions. If I press E to extrude and I extrude up ply, it'll automatically extrude up the thickness of our material. Now, watch what happens to the model after I modify these parameters. Click in the modify parameter box, I'll move this over. I can change the height of any of these numbers. If I want thicker plywood, I can change that, it updates. And if I wanna change my height, the entire model is going to update. For example, if I make this 120, then everything updates accordingly. Using user parameters is a great way to model parametrically in Fusion 360.